Aloha kakahi a kakako. Opo meke ike ia. Ohai gozaimasu, po chan this. Good morning, everyone. This is Pomekai, and I'm going to go for a walk. And I have this beautiful girl that I'm going to walk with. <laughs> She's super excited. You want to go for a walk? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Should we go? Hey, 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 hey. Um, you need to put your leash on. Come on. You need to put your leash on. Silly. Okay. Let me set the camera down. Can we sit? Can we sit? Sit. Yeah. It's silly. It's silly. Go down. Okay. Come on. I know. I know. I know. Wait. Let me get my camera. Oh my gosh. Somebody is so excited. You go for your walk. Early morning here, and it is nice, sunny yet. So, everyone who knows me knows I'm not the healthiest person. I make the healthiest choices, but the past year I've been walking. And just let me tell you that walking is transformative. It's so good for your body, but <laughs> walking, <laughs> but it's also good for your spirit. teaching at Lahaina Luna, at least I have been, because of everything that's been happening around the world. I was out of work for a while, the beginning of last year, and I decided to make the transition home. So now, I'm teaching, and as most of us know, teaching is not the most lucrative job, so I have been doing a part-time job, emceeing at the world Lahaina Luna, which is actually quite fun. At least most Mexican guests are super into it. And the crew that um, works there are very nice people. And I really like the show too. The show is quite fun. Myths of Maui. So, the show talks about different legends, different myths. Come on, come on, come on. Oi. Oh, smelling something, yeah? Can we get to the road, the main road? Uh, I don't want you doing your business over here, please. But I'm not about to pick her out of somebody's house. Okay, so here is the main road that we go on. It's actually oh wait. Okay, there's somebody coming. <laughs> it's actually a cane hall road, I guess. <sighs> you can see how beautiful Lahaina is. Tita, can you just wait? Somebody is here. <sighs> so I usually let her go usually let her loose when we get up here because there's typically not really very many people at all Ooh, I don't know if you can see Lanai out there so pretty so anyway line is very hot if I don't go now like if I go in the afternoon it's so hot okay well this is the top uh, there's another road that goes higher, I think, but I'm not gonna go any higher, and that's Laina right behind me. And <clears throat> there's Miss Mele still sniffing away. Mele's mom said that's how she learns, so when she comes here, she's like in a university. But this is why I came up here. That's Molokai. Looking down at Wahipuli. 
So I was trying to think about like what I could talk about this morning. I wasn't really sure. But I wanted to again I started this channel as a way to stay connected with people that I love around the world. And um a part of that um is that I wanted them to be able to stay connected with not just me but with Hawaii because a lot of people around the world love and miss Hawaii due to the circumstances right now. YouTube channel Hawaii so I wanted to talk today about how when things are not the way that we want them to be, uh, things are not happy per se going through a tough time. I've said this to my students many times, but life comes in waves, um, peaks and valleys. So sometimes when things are not going well, you just need to remind yourself that we're just going through a valley and it's not going to last forever because a peak is coming. So when you're going through tough times, just ride the wave. And when you are going through good times, just enjoy the ride. And that's my wish for all my friends around the world, that we can just enjoy this ride together. Um, yeah. So anyway, I still have a little bit more to walk, probably almost another 20 minutes or so. But I will catch up with you after the walk. Take this all the way back home. Thanks for watching and see you folks later. Ahoy ho!